Hello and welcome back to another CAD clip. In this lesson we're going to show you a new um, method of creating a curtain system by lines. In uh, previous versions of Revit architecture you could create a curtain system by lines and pick existing geometry edges and create a curtain system and then divide it up with grids and mullions and it would work quite nicely right at the project level. It's changed a little bit here in version 2010. We have to create a mass form first and then create a curtain system and add in our grids and mullions. So a little bit different but the same result. So this is how we do it. Um, I've just got two floor plates here on level one and level two. This is up on level two. This is down on level one. I'm going to switch to wireframe which will help us uh, visualize our edges a little bit better. So we start off by going to our massing and site and we say in place mass. This is how we create a mass form which is really just a kind of a, a, a thin kind of surface. So watch in place mass. Okay, Give it a name in here if you want. Hit OK. And now what we want to do is we want to use the pick option to pick this edge over here and then this underside edge and it's a little bit trickier than it used to so watch we go in here and we say pick lines well placement plane the first one is going to be right on level one so I can go down hover over this edge right here and pick and it'll give me that edge without a problem if you end up having problems you can use your tab button and sometimes you, you end up creating a chain of edges and go back and delete but the main thing is get that one edge on there Okay, then I go back and I use my pick option again and this time what I want to do is placement surface I want to pick if I just say level one or two it's going to project that new line up to the top of level two or level one I want to say pick and now I'm going to pick the soffit of this floor click and that is now my um, placement plane now I can go back to use my pick option and now I can hover over this bottom edge here and go pick and then click out hit escape escape and now I've got my edge there okay you might have to use your tab button worst case scenario is you use all these edges and then go back and delete the extra edges but in this case I've got my two edges just the way I want and now I say um, now I need to create the form I was just about to hit my create mass but it would give me an error and say I don't have anything that I've, I haven't created a form yet so after we pick our edges getting a little anxious there I need to go in and say um, create form so I have to pick on this guy and this guy so using your control button to select your two edges okay and, and if you pick closed loops it creates different shapes but if you pick only two open-ended segments and then you say create form it's going to create that form for you now we say finish the mass it's going to give us a little error saying that because of the type of mass we created it's not going to be able to create mass floors volumes or surface areas which is fine I just click out that's just a warning now this is classified as a mass object which is really you know just a kind of a flat kind of surface so now I can I can go back to my uh, model by face and say curtain system and then I can hover over here pick and then create the system so now I've created that system it's arbitrarily added in some grids there for us which is fine and I'm gonna position myself to be kind of in front of it like this and now I'm going to just clear that selection and hit escape so there's my new curtain system so now all I have to do is go back to my home tab and this is what we used to do we're back on track and say curtain grid so I'm going to say well I'm gonna divide that up so that those are equal like that and then start dividing these in halves okay we can get as fine as we want with this okay and I could have deleted that other grid and then halves again so adding in my curtain grid into halves just like that just like I used to okay and then I can hit escape I'm done all my grids and now I go back to my mullion tool and now we have the all grid lines we used to use a control button to select them and I can go in here and pick whichever one I want some of these work better than others and it depends on how tight your configuration is so I'm gonna go with the one and a half by two and a half rectangular all grids hover over here click it's gonna add in those grids if you've created kind of a 
a too much twist and stuff in there it might give you a warning that you've got some short segments hitting escape escape SD on the keyboard for shaded mode and oh Revit's asking me to save I'll just cancel out of that and then we've got our curtain system uh, which basically is exactly the same as the way it used to be with the curtain system by lines but now we're doing it by creating a um, a mass form first converting that to a curtain system then we add our grids then we add our mullions and I should also point out that I only used one line segment at the top and one line segment at the bottom which was the limit of what we used to be able to use in um, previous versions of Revit but now we can actually use multi segments so I could have you, you could have had other segments along the top or bottom and and create that same um, curtain system it gets a little tricky trying to get in and make the grids work but the fact is you can have more than one segment at either end of this um, mass form before you turn it into a curtain system previously you only got the opportunity to use one edge or one segment per edge now you can have multi segments per edge at the top and bottom